Hey everyone, this is our victim today. The old VTEC pre computer prestige. It does work, I've had it working, but uh, it's not in very good condition. It's covered in blood paint and everything, so let's take it apart. Try and get the screwdriver to grip. Because it's not perfectly flat, it's wobbling all over the bloody place. Actually, I'm going to pause you because there is a number of screws which will get boring. Right. Revert. All screws, as far as I can see, are all undone. There's some still in the casing, but a little bit of advice. If you're going to take anything apart like this that runs on batteries, take the battery cover off because I can... Almost guarantee they've hidden a screw in the battery compartment. So, can I get this off? It's wanting to come off. Right. Drop those screws out. I'm doing my little pile of screws. No intentions of putting this back together, so. what it's uh, looking like. Um, not sure what that's for. That had a 3 volt, I think it's a CR 2032. No, it's a CR 2025. Sony. Good make. Um, that must be for memory or something I'm guessing. I actually had to pull a tab on that that had never been pulled. So I'm actually going to check that with the meter. And uh, see if it's a, still a good battery. Right, so I'm going to just start taking screws out, I think. At the rate I'm going, I'm going to need a bigger pot to put all these little screws in. I keep them. Because when I fix like radios and other things, sometimes you find a screw's missing or you'll lose a screw. So having a pot full of screws uh, specifically for putting or, you know screws that were used specifically for putting electronics together is handy as well as trying to say something like that I want to have got to undo all of these I better have it's the keyboard that's under here and there each and every one of these poxy screws is holding it down These are really short though. Where do you see the point of putting these in? Uh, let me have a look at the other side of something. I'm not sure what that is in there. I think it has to do with the screen. And there's something else here as well. I'm not sure what that is either. Right. This, which is uh, VTEC's idea of a computer mouse. Basically a button and just one of these that you just sort of... Well, it just rolls on four different buttons on there, so... Nothing spectacular. i tell you what, though, in this day and age... Getting your kids to use something like this is not a bad thing. As we heavily rely on computers these days... Something like this, in my opinion, will prepare them for using the real thing. Because it's it's really not that different. There's a lot of these um, ferrite cores in here as well. 
Right. Okay, so the screen cable's over here. So what the hell is that in that corner? Try and undo what I can to make life easier. wires, I just thought I'd undo all the screws. Mind you, cutting wires would have been a bit quicker. And I think I will for the screen cable. I've got a feeling in the screen it's just going to be um, just the LCD up there anyway. I don't think it's going to be anything you know, spectacular. Try my hand at making my own coils and transformers and things. Right, so yeah, these two cables go up into the screen as well. Okay, those, those. We don't need this black and yellow bumblebee one either. Right, I'm going to just move that over there. So we have. AC input circuit board, which has got a little choke thing on. It's actually oval shaped for some reason. I've never seen one like that before. And it's two circles. It's got a little diode on it, a couple of capacitors, electrolytic capacitors in the socket itself. Plenty of salvageable parts on there. So I'm just going to go. Uh, we think about whatever this is, you see, there's the button cell battery holder, which might be handy as it is, I don't know. Either way, I'll cut it off for now, deal with it later. Like I said, we've got some more of these ferrite cores here. Usually, these are put on to reduce interference from various things so used a bit of hot glue as well from the looks of it glue it all in place there's another one with a loose bit of wire a couple more there as well which I'll salvage wow so we've literally got the keyboard circuit here and all the keyboard is using its proper plastic keys, but it's just got this sort of silicon membrane with the carbon pads on, which contact with the pads on here, that's what the keyboard is. That's the main circuit. You want to know what it looks like? I'm not an expert, I'm just taking these apart so we can uh, explore and see what we've got. It's got a parallel printer port there. What, how on there? I'll try that again. I wonder how old this thing actually is. Is there a date? Manufactured date on the circuit board? Sometimes there is. It's got UK on it. Does it mean it was made in the UK? No, I thought I'd found a date. That, ooh. Can I see a date code on one of the ICs? That would give us 1997. Ooh, this has got some age to it then. Possibly. Unless that's like new old stock. Um, what's it got written? I need my magnifying glass. I can't read the numbers on the other chips. Well, that one's got copyright 94 on it, so... It could very well be 90s, 1990s or so, somewhere. I would say probably that is pretty accurate. And the fact it's got a parallel printer port on it, 
this is modern, it has a USB. How the heck you would actually, uh, can you get a proper printer for these then? It's really simple though, aren't they? What is it? There's one, two, three, four ICs on here. I think these are just resistor arrays. That one and that one. I think I'll have to look up the numbers. That is actually a VTEC chip as well, that one. It's actually got VTEC copyright VTEC written on it. So that's a custom chip. That looks suspiciously like a memory chip in there. Which I wouldn't be surprised if that's what that little button cell battery was for. Oh, there's a cob as well, chip on board. Which is a permanent marker on it of a circle. Yeah, I really need my a magnifying glass. I should have bought that through because I can't read hardly anything on these chips. Do, 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 do. This has got a hell of a lot of resistors. Not actually as much on here as I thought it was going to be for me to salvage off. I also want to salvage the capacitors and some wire <laughs> for what or two. <laughs> that was it. Like I said, I guarantee. In there then. So it looks like there's another cable there for something. Don't know how you get the um, screen lid apart, otherwise I'd take that apart as well. Mind you, my battery's getting low anyway. Ah, speaker as well. I forgot to put the on off button. I think that's all that's in the lid. Just the speaker, the screen, and the on-off button. Nothing really worth looking at. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll just pause you and I'll open that bit up because I'm getting low on battery anyway, so that'll save on battery. Right, we have success. What we have is one speaker. I'm not actually sure what that is. Uh, the main board, screen board, and all the. Well, I presume that's all the driver for it as well. I thought it was going to be on the main circuit board over there, but it appears it isn't. Lots of capacitors. I'm sure they should have been bent over like that, but for some reason they haven't been. Uh, that's your volume and contrast controls and the power button, that is it. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think I'm, because these capacitors have got longer legs on, I think I will actually salvage those. Am I going to go through that one? No. Nope. Right. Sums it up. I'll just give you a closer look. Yeah, that's all the driver circuitry for the LCD screen on there. Oh, it just seems a little red LED as well. I don't remember seeing that lit up when I uh, did power this up. A bunch of crap on here now. I'm going to bin. That's the one advantage about doing this in the kitchen. The bin is just behind me. <laughs> yeah, I thought all the screen driver would be on here. I sort of thought like some of these may have been, you know, like the screwdriver chips, but apparently not. <laughs> yeah, that one's got 94. Can I see the other one? Can I get it in the right light? No, that one's not going to reflect. Anyway, I hope you found this one interesting. There's a lot more to this than the other items I have taken apart. Just a keyboard membrane. See, it's got the carbon pads on it. The 
need a bit need a bigger kitchen, need a bigger flat, I think. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.